you know, violent criminality is yeah. negatively correlated with IQ. And so yeah. as IQ goes up, criminality goes down. And that's true even if you control for socioeconomic status. Yes. I'm yes. telling you things that I've learned actually from you and other researchers, <laughs> but just for the benefit of the listeners. And so actually, let me ask you, turn your own question on yourself. One of the, one of the things that the answer to your question depends on is, does it matter for, let's say, a nation or a group's overall outcome, what the, the mere average of that group is, or do the smart fractions matter? Does it matter more like what the, the top 3% are or something? Do you, do you have a view on you that? You know, I, I think that it's so difficult to get causal evidence about average group IQ and what happens when that changes. Um, so I don't know. But I do believe um, in Jones's thesis that benefits that accrue from, from either bright individuals or bright groups get distributed out throughout society. Yes. And so I, I do find it plausible that, you know, maybe one day the, the, 3% of babies, you know, just like I'm now bored with IVF, well, the, you know, the parents also tack on embryo selection and two thirds of them select a, a embryo that would have higher IQ than, than, than randomly.